previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. This one looks like a wolf. <laughs> what the f Marianne? What, what kind of comment was that? No shit! So did the 10 other ones we killed. <laughs> what the f This one looks like a wolf! Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. It's pretty amazing. Welcome Welcome uh, uh. Now onwards, class. So war! <laughs> What? Do you expect me to yell some epic battle lines? <laughs> Please! I'm just gonna sit here on the sidelines in my lounge chair, sipping my martini and watching as this beautiful despair unfolds. Hmm. The hell's this in my drink? Ah, oh, shit, grenade! Ah! Hello! Sneaky B, back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. When we last left off, we went through a long ass paralogue. God damn, that paralogue went on for freaking ever. It's like an hour and a half of freaking just planning and fighting and try not to rouse his beastly blood. God damn it. Would you guys clarify? So apparently there's just a range around him where you you can aggro him. But the thing is, is it's is kind of misleading because the little little area around him that's usually the aggro area isn't actually the aggro area that, that sets him off. It's like a little further beyond that. So that's what was fucking throwing me off. I was like, I'm not in your stupid little square, dude. Why am I pissing you off? Like, God. But we did manage to get Marianne's freaking heroes relic, the Blood Blood King. Blood, Blood King? Is that right? Yeah, Blood King. Which is cool. I do kind of wish it was a ranged weapon, though. Because uh, that's what makes the Leaven Sword so sick is the fact that she can cast it from a distance. But and the, so the problem with this is, like, I don't want her to be in an, a situation where she could get counterattacked. I mean, her... Her defense is definitely better than it was before, but it's still not super high. Um, and her health is still on the lower end of a lot of people's. Although, <laughs> honestly, she's still high, still higher than Ber Bernie is. Higher in HP and defense, so I don't know. And we also finally learned what uh, Marianne's crest was, which you guys did sort of clarify how, like, the, the reason likely that she was so... Uh, she seemed so tired in the pre-time skip uh, was the fact that she was, like, afraid to fall asleep, probably. You know, they're afraid she might turn into a beast at night. Wow. Man, there's so much, like, just subtle storytelling there, you know? Like, things that, you, again, the game just expects you to sort of piece together. And I always just respect the shit out of that, you know, when I see things like that. Because I know, probably as a writer, you want to be able to tell the player about this cool shit that you did, that you put a lot of time and effort into making sure it was, like, a neat detail. But they choose not to, and they just hope that the player figures it out. Even though... Probably 80% are not even gonna realize that. But for the 20 at 20%, it's it's gonna be some epic shit. And I just think that's cool. I really like that. And this game just seems to be chock full of that kind of storytelling. Anyway, uh last episode, uh Hin Yashiba said, and by the way, this is in reference to inviting Felix to have tea. So Felix pre-time skip. <laughs> Why am I here? Felix post-time skip. Here I am. True character progression. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. I freaking love it. That 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 is true character progression. He now answers his own pre-time skip question. Why is he here? Because he is here. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm not even sure what to make of that. I don't I guess he's less bitter or less of a dick. I I guess. I don't know. I guess he's now just happier to be there, right? He's not as edgy as he used to be, or not trying to be as edgy. I guess that's the lesson learned. I don't know though. <laughs> anyway, uh, Hin Yashiba, thank you so much for your hilarious insight there. And it is for that reason you are comments of the day. So you guys also pointed out a few other things uh, in regards to uh, actually my, the fact that I'm having a hard time getting enough like fruit and food and like vegetables and stuff is actually a subtle bit of gameplay storytelling, sort of suggesting that it actually just is harder to come by now that the war has started, right? I mean, we we're even seeing talks among all the different uh, townsfolk about how, how little food there is. And even the, and the quests are having you go out and try to find some, right? And that's really interesting. So, like, but I, I didn't even really occur to me because I had such, like, I kept coming across the food, right? It wasn't so much that I was growing a shit ton of it. I mean, I, I, I don't know if maybe I do grow more than, or I did grow more than I do now. Um, but I think it's more that I kept finding, like, fruit and vegetables and stuff just around the campus that I could pick up and then use to make uh, dinners and stuff with my students. 
Um, and I just didn't even really think about it. I was just like, oh yeah, I guess I'm just getting it from the planting and stuff. But but now it's much harder to find. I don't see it around campus like I used to. Again, another bit of subtle storytelling. It's just goddamn like that is a serious like ridiculous level of detail. Like that's not something you just throw in there. That's like something that. Just like, goddamn, like that takes a lot of planning. And to have this many in this game is just like, oh my God, how long did it take them to make this game? Sort of like the equivalent of like someone writing in a stupidly long, ridiculously detailed book. Like probably like one of George R. R. Martin's, you know? I mean, granted, those books take like fucking 30 years for him to write, which is kind of why that is the case. But it makes you wonder then like for a game like this that similarly has just so many details and so much plot and story, I mean, I know it's not just one guy. There's a whole company of people working on this, but damn, still though, it just seems like this would have taken so, so long to to make a game like this with just this level of thought and attention. So I applaud the Fire Emblem team. Seriously, they, they just did an amazing job with this. But all right, so we're coming up on the next story mission. You guys told me apparently there's a green unit that uh, I should talk to in this next fight um, that I can actually talk to with myself and apparently with Felix. So I'm, I'm gonna just bet it's probably Rodriguez then, right? So, okay, I'll make sure to bring uh, Felix here too. Assuming he's in mandatory to bring to the fight. Um, all right though, I think I am totally done. Oh, I, I didn't get one of the advice box things. Uh, Mercedes, I really start craving sweets and I'm tired or stressed out. I wish there was some kind of yummy confection that I could make with the limited greens available to us. Oh, see, look, again, they're mentioning it again. Uh, check the library for a simple traditional recipe. You'll have, just have to learn to live without sweets. No one will notice if you use a few extra, oh God. Uh, check the library for a simple traditional recipe. Good, yeah, no, no, go steal some shit from all the starving people, Mercedes. That's the, definitely the right thing. I'm a good commander. Okay, now I'm done. Now onwards to the next story battle. Oh, no cutscene this time. Um, all right, I think uh, certification wise. Oh wait, actually no. I do have some people I want to retry. For example, Shamir. Okay, coin flip girl, come on. Yeah! I'm on a motherfucking horse, bitch! Get him, Shamir. That's a nice result. Cool, this horse just appeared under me after I finished the test. All right, Ingrid, you're next. Uh, uh oh. I'm a lot of fucking master seals. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. And I can't buy him in the shop here. Bitch, damn it. Oh, it means I gotta reset and go back. It's a shame that you can't access Anna's secret shop from the menu over there, but no, you can only access it when exploring the monastery. That was an item back here I missed. Ooh, some seeds. I found no, not food, just the seeds. Thanks a bunch, bitch. I gotta redo this. Uh, all right, Casper, I think. Uh, hey, I have to be, I hate having to be sneaky and stay quiet when enemies in my line, line of sight. It's not that I can't do it, but I don't think I'm cut out for ambushes and stuff like that. You'll get better if you train. You can always propose a change in strategy. You can practice your patience by fishing. Um, can I always propose a change in strategy? Fucking God damn it! You know what? I don't give a shit. Whatever. Okay, I swear, I swear to God. I swear to freaking God. If Shamir doesn't get this this time, I'm gonna be pissed. The RNG suddenly goes against me. Don't you do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, Ingrid. What about you? Come on. Come on, girl. Falcon Knight. Oh my God, your stats go so much too. Please, please do it. Do it for me. Yeah! I'm also on a flying horse! I must continue to work hard. Fuck yeah, girl. You've been in the other class for freaking ever now. Since there was like no advanced class version for her, so. Ah, oh, it's been long overdue. So now she's got Lance Fair, which I don't think she had in the previous one. Nope, as well as a bunch of stat bonuses, eight movement, and she's a god now. <laughs> oh my god, I can actually try to be a mortal savant. Neat. <laughs> don't know why I do that, since it's basically worse in every way <laughs> compared to my other one, but I could do it. I could get some cool samurai swords. What about the other thing here, Bishop? Yeah, that would also be a mistake. Nothing is better than god class. I actually just realized, just looking at Gilbert's like stats here and what's already like pretty high. He's actually like perfect to be a, uh, a great knight. I, that's clear that that's what the game sort of intends his end game to be. So he's got high lance, axe, heavy armor, and riding. That's all That's all great, uh, great knight stuff. So, um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. I mean, it doesn't seem to uh, decrease his 
resistance a ton. Actually, no, it's actually raises it a bit. Um, and does give him a bit more movement. The only problem is that just his speed goes so fucking far down. We're down to 12. But overall, his stats are a little bit higher. It's a bit more uh, more HP. Also a bit less strength. I don't know. I mean, something to consider at least. Have a far-reaching tank. I don't know. It might be kind of nice. But it does seem like the big heavy armor guys are just not quite as useful in this game. All right. Ambush LL. <laughs> is it really an ambush? We ought to know it's coming. I see it in the name here. Your party travels to Alel, the Valley of Torment, to meet up with allied troops to secure reinforcements. It should have been a safe march, but then suddenly... All right, I'm guessing Alel is where the fucking lava is. Having received the Kingdom Army's plea for aid, Rodrigue has agreed to provide soldiers. In order to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army sets out for Alel, the Valley of Torment. Reluctantly. <laughs> Dimitri just <laughs> inserts himself. I didn't want to do it though. I just wanted to kill things. All right, ambush. This valley isn't a place I'd care to. <laughs> Why the fuck do we decide to meet here? Seriously, how stupid are we? I'll share my allied troops with you, but first we must meet at the Temple of Doom. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, why not? After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. In conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale. Professor, be honest. How are you holding up? I feel fine. It's nice and toasty in here. It's not like the sauna, except you have no control of how hot it gets. I'm at my limit. Never, never imagined to be like this. Monks once used this area as an ascetic training ground because of the intense environment. It's also where the Gorons live. Was born of the goddess's rage. Her rage. If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment, passed on humanity for its corruption. So this, is that true? Did you make this area all full of lava because you all pissed off one day? Oh, Rash is not there anymore. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flame. <gasps> oh shit, is that what Demetrius talk about all the time? Dude, Demetrius, say that thing, say that thing you say sometimes when you level up and kill a dude or something. I say nothing of the sort. Oh, you totally do. It's something about the, the, some of the flames, uh, the, the everlasting flames, uh, the, the, the hotty hot flames, the bitchin' ass flames. God damn it, Professor, you're saying it wrong. He just smacks me in the face, I fall over. Ah! And then he poses over me. See you in the eternal flames. Ah, there it is, that's the one. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed. And there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. Ah. Uh. I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. Man, I should take this stupid hot veil off my head. Near those mountains over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? Ah, oh, oh. shit. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rod Rieg soldiers? No, but their banner is that of... <gasps> no, it can't be. That is House Rose Banner. They curried favor with that witch and sold out Fargus. We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Will you have us meet them in battle? Or wait for Rodrigue to arrive? Okay, so we did not uh, play in this ad at all. After after all, I, I was I was kind of wondering if maybe there was gonna be like a slight twist. Like we know we noticed that, like in that one cutscene earlier, some guy was like, "They said they're going to Lel." All right, you know, and then faded away i was thinking well, maybe there's a chance to like oh we knew that guy was there but we were gonna lure them into our our own trap ha double trapped ya there is only one option how kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later i think you're for my allies they sold the kingdom right i will not repeat my <laughs> yes professor i said that already that banner belongs to the gray lion it's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. Lions can only be blue, not gray. Everyone, 
Prepare for the attack. All right. Thank God I put on my motor gloves today. Replenish battalion. No. No way. All right. Because this time I want to make use of the freaking thing I wanted to see last time. With the... Uh, yes. With freaking Dimitri's battalion. I'm hoping this still works. Because I actually don't know for certain that it will. If the battalion is at zero. I didn't see anyone clarify this in the comments. Does that still count as less than or equal to a third? I mean, I, it, it should, right? But if, it, if they're dead, does that mean it's just not going to trigger his extra ability? I... I don't know. I hope not. Otherwise, that just gonna, that's going to make this ability considerably less useful because battalions are basically like a ticking time bomb. They're basically ticking down to their inevitable death, it seems like. So that definitely would be uh, a bit of a bummer. No, stop asking me. If I want my battalions to be dead, then they will be dead. Uh Oh, nope. Seems like Felix is not required for this fight. Oh my God, it's going to keep showing up every time, isn't it? Cool. All right, let's have a look-see. The Kingdom Soldiers. God damn it, why does everybody else get a healing tile except me? Oh, we got a chest in here. Uh, Gwendol. Oh, actually, make that two chests. Who might you be, sir? You are a great knight. And you have nothing else going for you. What's this? Armor blow. If a unit initiates combat, grants plus six defense to during combat. Ooh, that's actually really good. I bet you get that from, like, mastering a, uh, uh, one of the great knight ones, right? That's actually super good. That really helped to tank through some shit. Not too many mages in this fight. Actually, are there any mages? No, just a lot of archers and a lot of great knights. And uh, that's kind of it. And then we got some cavalry over. Oh, wait, no, there's one right here. One one healer. I am definitely gonna need my spellcasters though because there are some chunky guys here who are gonna need to be set on fire. All right, so as much as I love using you in these fights now because you're just so fucking diesel, and now you're a wyvern lord. Uh, you're level 4, 34. I think I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna leave you out for this one. Let some other people shine for a bit. Like I'm in voila. I get you a, a little higher in level. I didn't even look at this yet. I can uh, force those rusted gauntlets I got before into dragon claws. That's definitely legendary beast. Effective against, against dragons. It's actually not as good as I, I'd hoped it would be. I mean, the mites are right, but it only costs three wood steel. So it's definitely not legendary or anything like the, the named uh, weapons are. But it'll be good if I ever fight a dragon at some point but uh yeah all right I think we're ready to go the, the enemy commander don't die the valley of torment perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight more like a laughing general bitch only if that puny force of children is able to kill me of course that man who raises the lion's flag lord gwendol he is an elder knight who serves house rome Look at that big chunky monkey. I'm going to eat him alive. Calm down, Dimitri. Make sure to chew your food. Without thought, fight any battle if ordered. There is no chance of negotiating. Alel is a deadly place. Flames burst from the ground with no warning. Sane people usually avoid it. Thank God I'm neither. So the flames of torment burn your sins, your life, your everything. If you wish to spare yourself the goddess's wrath, tread lightly. Or don't. It makes no difference to me. Da -na -na -na. All right. Be careful of the painful floor. Okay, so I've got a... I've got a short spear on him, which... Well, no, he can only throw at two, two points. So I'm, I'm going to bet if they, if they really wanted to, they could easily shoot him from, yeah, three away and not get uh, counterattacked. But I'm gonna try it anyway, because I'm curious. Let's see how good your AI is. All right, Mercedes, pump them all up. Oh, yeah. Felix like, hey, what about me? Manuel's just gonna go the fuck in and die. Boom. Boom. Taking life doesn't phase me. I am not afraid to murder. Nice. Oh, you guys were telling me, apparently, like, someone broke into the code of Fire Emblem Three Houses, and then they found, like, some, like, in-depth system that dictates, like, girl booby size. <laughs> like, and it starts from, like, 100% is, like, regular or something. And if you go downward more, uh, they get smaller, and you go upward, they get bigger. And, like, on the small end, I think you guys said, like, Annette or something was, like, 
it was like 30 percent or something I, I don't know i can't i can't remember who was like the smallest one or something but uh of course manuela was the largest one and hers was like 220 percent good lord manuela how do you fit those things in there anyway i do this for all of us come on bernie ride your horsey into battle oh my god Ingrid could just go across the entire map Lulu, Lulu, got some apples. Lulu, Lulu, you got some too. Lulu, Lulu, let's get together. Another weekend. Lulu, Lulu. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Fuck that archer up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but not really. Bonk, bonk. My duty is your death. My duty. <laughs> my duty is your death. Damn. Oh my God, Ingrid. Ingrid, you are already useful. You are already a god among us all. Yeah. Just stop already. <laughs> what you say? Just die already! Everyone's equal. Oh Jesus. <laughs> See you in the eternal flames, motherfucker! Sorry, but this is war. Sorry, but I don't care! Die! Oh. I'll be home again soon. Good horsey! Good horsey! Only the strong Looking good. Looking good, Bernie. <laughs> Die, dude. Predictable. Here's something to believe in. Ah. Another victory. Ah, oh, perfection. Ah, oh, professor, you made me so hot. Okay. Ow. Professor, why'd you bring me out here? This plan of yours didn't work at all. Ah, oh, you missed. I was just trying something to meet you, all right? Don't judge me. I thought my work, and clearly it didn't. Horse Slayer! Boom! Boom! It is done. Onward. Eat the red hot fires of my fist. Ha! Get out of here, stupid! I disposed of doubt long ago. Kill it, boo! In the name of justice! In the name of just- Oh my god! Oh, ask come now! Still here. What chesky? Definitely don't need that on Ash. Leave my sight. Big point. Oh my God! Double critical in a row. Jesus Christ, Felix. All right. Next. Well done. Think of the children. Next try. You missed. Ow! Don't you even touch me. I am your God. I am your minty hair God. Oh, boom, boom, boom. No touchy. Ow. I'll comply. I'll comply. Boom. It was meant to be. Roar. Nice. I fight and grow. I fight and grow stronger, cause I am me and you are you. And we are we and La La Lu. What? God, everybody's getting crit. Jesus. Uh oh. Wait, was that a re No, it's just the just the wizard behind him moving one go. one foot. From both sides. What the what the fuck? Where'd you come from? Ow! Damn, this guy's a this is a beefy ass dude. Shit, can do a whole lot of damage to him. Bonk, bonk. All right, next. All right. Boom. And nobody's fool. Nobody's fool. Boom. Now there's a way forward. Eat this. Long distance shot. Boom. Bernie's unstoppable. Bernie's unstoppable. Go ahead and stand in the hot lava, stupid. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you, boom. Okay, that didn't work. Eventually, I too will fall. He did not attack them first. Cool. <laughs> I guess it doesn't work if they're dead. And now Dimitri's dead. Cool. A fitting end. Yeah, I mean, right? I have the I have the skills on him. I think. Well, Phonishi's combat unit is still attacks first, but battalion endurance is less than or equal to th a third. I have him on there, but it didn't work. I guess they can't be a lot. I guess I guess they can't be dead. That fucking blows, man. Okay, that really makes this a lot less useful then. At least I'm like a, a, a small window of time for you to be able to actually pull this shit off. 
God, I will say I am really shocked that I did not see anyone comment about this last episode with how much I've been talking about it. Like, seriously, I think I've asked this for like the past couple episodes. I mean, I'm not blaming you guys. I, I'm, I'm sure there might have been somebody who actually told me. I just didn't see it. But, but just the fact I wasn't seeing any like top rated comments, that just kind of made me think, oh, okay, this probably would work then, but uh, I guess not. Bummer, dude. <sighs> and unfortunately, uh, Dimitri's not gonna be the one man army like I was hoping it would be. That's why the game can't ask you if you want to replenish the damn thing, Nico. I guess so. I... Don't struggle, Don't struggle boom. See you in the eternal, you in the eternal flames. flames. I haven't come across any green units yet. <laughs> Boom. Eventually, I too will fall. Eventually, I too will fall. Whatever, Dimitri. Whatever. Ooh, bolt axe. Neat. Oh, these guys have uh, terrain resistance. Oh, that's interesting. Does Bernie have that too? No. Oh, just that's right. Just paladins and I'll characters like that have it. <laughs> Boom. Too slow. Too slow. I shall not stray. What do you mean? You just can't even hurt me. You just can't, it wasn't even that I was fast. You hit me and it did nothing. I'm a god. Play my sight, boom. All right, next. Just like that. Just like that. Too slow, god damn. I feel like he's so many criticals. Oh my god, and I can straight just murder this guy right here, right now. Absolutely wreck him. Absolute mad lad. But I don't want to kill him yet. Okay, at the chest. There's one more chest over the other side. I would like to just be able to kill all the enemies. Now's our chance. Stay the fuck over there. You're going nowhere. Allow me to demonstrate how to kill things. No turning back. Boom. Oh my god, Ash. Boom. Oh, I didn't kill him though. Nice try though. Oh god, there's a guy over there. Hey, there's a green unit. And yep, it's Rodriguez. He has planted spies even inside Garrett Mock. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young one. Bitch, I spared your ass. I could have killed you last turn if I wanted. I gotta have a net set you on fire. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ow. God damn it, Rodriguez. Why did it be all the way over there? It took forever for me to run over there. See you in the uh, eternal fucking flames. Do 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 do. Silver shield. Mine, mine. <laughs> Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion. A knight by the hand of Count Roe. Do your work. Dude, I'm not, like, I'm actually trying not, I'm doing my best not to kill you, all right? I want to go talk to fucking Rodriguez over there. So I'm actually trying to just keep you in place so you don't run in and get yourself killed. Damn it. I don't even see a bubble over his head. Are you sure I can talk to him? Do I, can I only see if I get close enough? I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you, boo. See you in the eternal, eternal flames. I can always depend on you. Whatever. Shut up. Accuser. Shut up, maggot. Thanks so much. Yeah, her healing mag is ma magic is definitely not as good as it was before with the, the bishop class. Though, again, understandable. Alive, oh, my God. <laughs> Boom! Stay alive, Bernie! He's unstoppable. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, come at me, stupid. Boom. And you're Another dead. Victory. Dead. One of us had to die. One of us had that demon die. Booyah. One day. Shut up, dude. I could have killed you ten times now. Ah, ow. Uh, ow. It's good. I want you. I actually wanted you to attack Felix. Because I knew he wouldn't be able to kill you with his bare fists. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Wow. So I can't talk with it, to him with uh, myself. Can I really do it with Felix? I can't do it with Felix. You guys lied to me. 
You guys are wrong. That's right. That guy's going to keep attacking Felix and never killing him. So it's all fine. Yeah, I definitely cannot talk to him with Felix. You guys are wrong, wrong, wrong. Don't make assumptions, guys. All right. Otherwise, it causes me to have to waste my stupid time. Level up for Mercedes. Woo! My works. Yeah. Level up for Annette. Nice. I'll protect every. Ah, oh, promise. <laughs> Ow. Ah. Nice. I can do no less. Can do no less but kill everyone and everything in my way. I shall not stray. Leave my sight. Yeah. It was meant to be. Level up for Flane. Nice. I feel my. I'll end this quickly. I'll end this quickly. Yeah. You took me lightly. Okay, another level up for Ingrid. Oh yeah, baby. I must. All right, that's all the units on the map except for the big guy and the guys that just keep showing up. What's my strategy? All right, what's up, man? How's it going? To meet you in a place like this. No, that won't do. I'll leave the talking until after the battle. Here's a small souvenir for you. Put it to good use. Oh, he hello. The Sword of Moralta. The fuck? What? Oh, my God. You tell me I get some shit from you that I can't get anywhere else? You wouldn't have given this to me after the fight? Oh my god, this is actually a... Oh my god, it's a freaking... Whatever the... I can't... It's not a hero's relic, it's the other one. I don't know what it's called. Silver one. It's a sword for Felix! You dickhead! I had to ask you for this? Oh, it's a shame that Felix is sticking mainly with swords here, but... Fine. Sure, Felix will make good use of it. He's over there distracting the other guy, by the way. Which, by the way, I guess you don't want to talk to him. You want? You don't feel like talking to your son at all? Okay, cool. He's like, I'm so bored. I want to kill more things. But there's no more things to kill. He's like, I swear to God, I'm going to kill this guy. Ah, ah, ah. Guys, a little help. I'm hurting my hands. He's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to save the day. I swear to God, if you kill steal this shit, Dad, I'm so pissed. Level up for Marianne. Holy shit. I want to She's a god. All right, got the silver shield again. Level up for Aloise. Aha, more power. That's right, go for, go for Annette. See what happens. See what the fuck happens. Oh, I can't wait to see this shit. Ha, huh, look at this little girl. I'm gonna wreck her. Watch this, guys. I'm so cool. Oh! Oh, dicks! Oh! Uh, so I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. Shut up, scrub! Boom. It is the way of knights to follow their master's orders without argument. Lord Gwendol was a good man. If you say now so. He's just a corpse. <laughs> more. Let's go. Rodriguez waiting for us. By the way, Felix, I got a gift from your dad. Which he, he gave to me and not to you. Oh, and he had no fluff dialogue with you at all. Glad to see he loves you so much. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. That was a pretty fucking easy fight. I had to hold back to make sure not to kill this stupid asshole. Jeez, no wonder you guys told me about that. I'm sure that's missed by most people. Since I could have killed that guy before I even, like, Rodriguez even showed up. What the fuck? It's been too long, your highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war after all. Shut up, Rodriguez. To say such a thing at a time like this, you have not changed one bit. I like your eye patch there, Dimitri. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdiad. When I heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... <sighs> Gilbert, you have done well to locate his highness. I am truly grateful. Hi, Dad. I'm here, too. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, the point. Dimitri, you look so good. 
And you. I have you to thank as well. As a professor, it was my duty. We were all fortunate. It was my duty. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. But only with a sword, and only if you talked to me in that last fight. If you didn't, guess your shit out of luck, bitch! And you, Felix. You have also done well to bring his highness here. <laughs> tell us all you know, Rodrigue. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dupedom, or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiat. There, she reorganized her troops and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively, and now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness, we should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. I don't care. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Silence! Oh! No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me, asking the dead, to forgive that woman? No, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the Kingdom Capital over the Imperial Capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not dare to put words in the mouths of the dead. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Until I offer up that woman's head, Father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now, he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues! <sighs> you are my king. Our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness, there are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, your highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Oh! Eritvar. The hero's relic once wielded by my father. Hey, there it is! Hey, it's a smash weapon! <laughs> I finally get to see you! Damn, Dimitri, you bout time you got your damn hero's relic! Well, nearly as epic as either. It's just like, it's like, oh, hey, by the way, I had this on me. Here, here, Dimitri. The very same. I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiad. Actually, I was thinking he might get it when, or hopefully when, when he uh, snaps out of his, like, demented state. And as stated as ever, Father, it must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful, my friend. Gilbert, Professor, may I request something of you? Ooh, Rige actually managing to get a little, uh, of the old Dimitri out of him there. Interesting. It was really interesting how he managed to sort of handle that, though. Like, I mean, he's really, he's definitely doing a good job of trying to uh, sway Dimitri towards helping him, right? But I don't know. I mean, it looked like he might have been able to do it. Maybe, may, and maybe this gift of this lance will help to, to move him to head to Ferdiad instead. I don't know, though. It's a little up in the air right now, whether that was enough. I wish to fight at your side. Oh. Senile already, old man? Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king, to my dear friend. What promise? A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. Now then, your highness, let's destroy the empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. 
I pray that you are right, and that this will save the kingdom. Ariad Bar. Cool. Mine. Oh, good. I'm glad I went right to your inventory. Uh, Heroes Relic Crest of the Bladet. Crest you Bear can use atrocity. It fits me nicely, then. Holy crap, it's strong. 19 might? Good God. Stack that on Dimitri's already high strength. You want a motherfucker Our dead? To capture Use Endor this. By striking the enemy stronghold directly. So is Rob really actually going to be... Can I actually have, use him in battles then? Do I get supports with him? How familiar are you with the geography of Fodlin? Uh, not very familiar. The kingdom and the empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains. Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Uh, east or west? Uh, let's go west. Hmm, I believe that may be difficult. After all, the western region of the kingdom is already loyal to the Empire. Fine, go east. Why'd you even ask me? Perhaps we should consider going east, using the route that passes through Alliance territory. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. It's Claude, I believe, right? We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murden in Alliance territory. Murden? Why wow, there? The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Ah, yes. It's risky. Well, the Empire and the Alliance both attack. It's risky. I'm afraid we have no other option. This is our only hope. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. So it looks like we are just heading straight for uh, the Empire then. Fuck the people back home! Do you think they'll help us? Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. But if we get attacked from both sides, we'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Speaking of House Gloucester, I wonder how Lawrence is holding up. Really? That's the first person you go to, Mercedes? Ugh. If we meet him again, it will probably be as enemies. To be honest, I'd rather avoid seeing him altogether. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> Good advice, dickhead. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. My vengeance is upon us. Wow, so yeah, I guess that didn't really do enough to dissuade Dimitri. So nah, nah, we're going, we're, uh, we're gonna do what I wanna do, and I wanna go murder fucking Edelgard. Part two, Azure Moon. Ooh. Lone Moon. Rose-colored river. The rose-colored river. That, uh, that doesn't bode well. Why is it rose-colored? Kingdom Army meets with Rodrigue in Elel, the Valley of Tormek. With the strength of House Fraldarius on their side, the time to invade the Empire is finally at hand. Is it though? Because we still have like deadlines for fucking August. And what are we at? Is this May? No, it's March. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think so. Even though it's in ruins, in some strange way, this monastery never truly changes, does it? 
I studied at the officer's academy when I was young. Those memories come rushing back whenever I return. What are you doing here at this hour anyway? Couldn't sleep. <laughs> it's the same for me. Perhaps you'll allow me to join you. Much appreciated. I keep recalling my eldest son. He was quite gifted. In fact, he was appointed a knight at the age of 15. Glenn was way cooler than Felix. I still vividly remember the day he was granted a sword from his majesty. Your son is neat. Dead. He was killed nine years ago in Dusker. All that returned of him that day were his sword and his armor. After it happened, I said something horrible to Felix. He's hated me ever since. And I don't blame him. Hmm. Really? So, that, I mean, that's when he said to him, the, you know, he died a noble death, right? You know, like, I get the idea behind it. I, and I, I, I like, I understand both sides here. Funny, I would, I, I'm surprised he was, he would look at it as a horrible thing to, a horrible thing to say. Or maybe he, he may just thinks it, this was the wrong thing to have said to Felix, right? No matter how much you grieve, the dead will never return. No magic in the world can bring them back. Or maybe he just views it differently now. That's why their memory clings to the living like a curse. The more they were loved, the tighter their hold, and the more suffering they cause. I fear I am not a strong enough man to scold His Highness for his foolishness. Hmm. Someone must. I know you feel. Someone must. Right you are. As adults, it is our responsibility to scold him and help him find his way again. I come off as so self-important, but really, I'm just a failure of a man. <sighs> Professor, I entrust the young prince and the future of Fargus to you. This is unexpected. Won't lead down. <laughs> you are a brave one, aren't you? One worthy of leading the Church of Seros, I dare say. You should know that I have no intention of insisting that you take back Ferdiat. All I ask is that you continue to rein in Dimitri's manic desire for revenge. Now then, we have received House Regan's consent. All that's left is for us to depart. If we make it through Gloucester territory and across the Great Bridge of Murden, we'll be in Empire territory. You are not afraid, are you? A little. I don't feel anything. Yes. Such is war. I'm glad you were the one to lead the Blue Lion House, Professor. I mean that. Aw. That was a nice scene. That was a really good moment for Arige there. Oh wow, we got a lot of fucking weeks though before we get there. See, so yesterday will be him in the recital. Of course I will. Why wouldn't I? Seriously, why would you say no to that? It's just free shit. Cyril! You look like a cat that's been sprayed with water. What? You don't think I should sing the high note? <laughs> really? We picked Catherine? Catherine? I'm pretty sure Catherine's one of the people who actually hates this. I've never sung a song before, so I don't know if I'm good or bad at it. <laughs> well, that's all right. We all bonded anyway. Hmm. So is Rob Regan. I guess he must be part of my army here. Oh, Dimitri accepted the battle gear of the of the King of Lions from Rob Regan and obtained the certification for Great the Great Lord class. Wow, really? Except for the battle gear of the King of Lions? What in the fuck? What the fuck? A new power. I won't squander it. Holy shit! Okay, neat! Dude! Oh my god, your armor looks sick, Dimitri! Now I'm a great lord. What was I before? Oh, that's right. He was a high lord. Now I'm even greater. Damn, man. Cool. Great lord. It's got more white on it. Unfortunately, you're still kind of uh, demented. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if you're ready for that yet. Wait. So did that just totally replace his other one? Uh, no. It uh, it's a separate one. 
A lordly figure, a lord, a lordly figure who leads with unwavering authority. Dimitri dominates the battlefield with his unparalleled lang land skills. Okay, the the bonus to stats is the same, uh, but these stat these stats, or I mean the uh, skill experience is the same. Um, these stats are are a bit different. Uh, wow, he actually goes even further. Lumen is six. Uh, a little bit more strength, speed, and luck. But the class builder is the same. Okay, I'm gonna probably stick with High Lord. Um, for the time being, whatever it takes. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> uh, just because I, I want to master because I'm sure it's got some really cool shit. It's interesting. It, he's got like it's got more white on it, which sort of suggests that maybe he's like, like I, it feels like an outfit that he would get if he has reached the point of of moving past, you know, the the darkness in himself. But it seems like he's still at that in that manic state of his. Yeah, I mean, he still can't bomb with anybody. All right, at least I got him, I'm getting him set up though for when he does finally get out of it. <laughs> I saw he's got to do it at some point, right? At least be ready to talk to people. All right, well, Felix, you have, uh... Oh, damn it. I need to uh, freaking, uh... Buy some master class emblems, but, uh... I can't make you into a war master. All right, let's give you a sword. They're not really gonna be able to use it anyway. What do I have you at, like, C rank for sword? Yeah. I don't even know if there's a point to giving this to you, but... Uh, might as well. Nobody else can use it, or, well, not to its full extent at least uh oh my god it's got 25 crit pretty sick all right we got a few supports here uh ooh, ash with the um, ingrid and marianne a rank all right let's see it so it's both like there you are ingrid these are both actually kind of potential waffles for for ash here whoa uh hi ash you seem excited what's that you're holding a book i found in town i bought it for you for me Ash, this looks very costly. Antique books like this are never cheap. Ah, just kidding. I stole it. Wow. The cover is stunning, and the binding is still in fantastic condition. I drove a hard bargain. Still, I'll probably have to cut back on my spending for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ash. Why did you go to so much trouble? Well, it wasn't easy, but as soon as I came across this legend, I knew you had to read it too. Well then, I will read it. Oh, the knight on the cover looks striking. Fascinating, right? I was captivated from the moment I laid eyes on the cover. There's an aura of stoicism intermingled with beauty, even amid a gruesome battle. Wait, looking closer at the face, this knight is a woman. Yes, and she was a real historical figure. She was born into a noble family and bore a crest, but she was accepted into the king's service as a knight. Ah. She fought in many battles at her king's side, serving him all her life as his right hand. Oh, sorry, I, I've said too much. I didn't mean to spoil the story for you. They'll strike a serious chord with Ingrid, though. I'm just so excited. I hope you enjoy it, too. Thank you for the encouragement, Ash. Living as a knight is certainly not an easy task. I know it will mean much pain, strife, and heartache. But I still want to pursue that dream. Talking to you has reminded me. I'm not the type who gives up easily. That's the Ingrid I know. So to start, I'm going to read this book. Great! When you're finished and freshly inspired, we'll talk about becoming knights. Not the ones in stories, either. The real thing. I look forward to it, Ash. Aww. That was cute. I don't know. I, did they have a romantic one? Not sure. It was still, that seemed pretty platonic there. It seems like the ones with me it seemed to be more, the most platonic. And then, well, I don't know. Because I've, I've, I've seen a few so far with other people where it, it suggested otherwise. Like, remember Hanuman and fucking Manuela, right? Like, they're at, uh, at their B rank was surprisingly, like, hot and heavy. And then they, I mean, they got turning each other's throats, but they were still were, like, saying some, like, mmm shit, you know? All right, Marianne and Ash. Oh, Marianne. Are you confessing again today? No, I was waiting for you. For me? Um, I wanted to apologize. You kept trying to encourage me, but I just avoided you in return. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. I only wanted to give you some advice, but I ended up running you off. Can I tell you something, Ash? Of course. You said that my crest is an extraordinary gift, but I don't agree with that at all. Don't people have more important qualities? What do you mean? Like, um, 
how much we help those around us, or whether or not we can make other people smile. Sylvain says that a person's value is in their smile. Oh, what the fuck? <gasps> oh my god, this game is the fucking best. I can't get over it. I love this game so fucking much. God damn, man. Fuck this game. How is it? How? How long did it take them to do this? This is stupid. This is a stupid level of detail. This game, is this game being made for like 30 fucking years? To stick this. So they stuck an, oh my God. They stuck an extra little tidbit of this because she had this, this, it's totally it. Yeah, she, there's no way she would have said this if I didn't have that freaking support with Sylvain. Sylvain said to her, yeah, the purse value's in their smile. And then she goes and says it to Ash later. Fuck this game. God damn. Sylvain, huh? He really can turn anything into a lie. And then, <laughs> and then Ash responds. Even Ash responds to it like, God, man. I'm trying to be less negative. I've also realized that I should have a dream to pursue like you do. What it, what else it does, and I mean, aside from just being just fucking cool and like, oh, it makes your story feel like its own, right? But it also makes the, the conversations between characters feel insanely, like to a cr incredible degree, crazy organic, right? Like this shit is real. These are real people in a real world having real conversations. And it's just glorious. I think people who have something to work toward are more fulfilled. Yet here I am, living an empty life without a dream. That still sounds kind of negative to me. <laughs> what does being fulfilled even mean here anyway? Are you saying that people without dreams live empty lives? I don't agree with that. When I was a kid, I was too busy worrying about my next meal to have a dream. Was my life empty then? That's not what I mean at all. I just don't know... I don't know how to find my dream. Hey, chin up. Maybe I can help. I'm sure we can come up with something for you in no time if we put our heads together. You'll help me? Absolutely. Unless, uh, you don't want me to, of course. No, I would appreciate that. I want to find something worth working toward. Together. With you. And with my head held high. Aww. These are... F this game is too good, guys. Like, I feel like we don't deserve a game like this. This game's just too damn good. Too much love and thought just went into this. What the shit, man? Just what the fucking fuck? We are not worthy. Oh, wait, I just rose. I didn't get my, uh, the money that I usually get from, uh, the start of the month. What, no war funds or anything? No professorly salary? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I wouldn't get that anymore, but I thought I was getting, like, war funds initially. I didn't this week. Or maybe I haven't got, maybe I haven't gotten any since the, the war started. I'm not really sure. It actually kind of sucks, because now I am rather low on cash. I don't have any more bullions to sell. Damn, I didn't even think I could run out of money. Well, well, I guess I could start selling some of this extra equipment I have. Because I do have quite a bit of it. Oh, actually, no. What I really could start should start selling is the fucking 8 billion fish I have. Look at this. You're all this useless fish. It doesn't sell for a whole lot, though. That's the, kind of the bad thing. At least not these. I have to find some more... Uh, oh, there's a golden fish. <sighs> I really don't want to go fishing, though, again. For the damn golden fish and bullshit. But I'm probably gonna have to. God, I got so much umbral steel. I don't think I've even used it yet. This is what I think this is what this is what's used just for the heroes relics, right? I don't know if it's actually used for anything else, though. <laughs> I think I've yet to actually repair a single heroes relic weapon. So I suppose I could sell some of this. All oh, right. So okay, I don't see Rodriguez in any of my supports here, but I guess I guess he must be in my in my party, or is he? No, he's not. He's not in my roster anywhere. Huh? That's Interesting. They say we're joining us, man. What are you doing? Just, just gonna shell out autos on the side or something. But not actually get your hands dirty. You're just in that last fight, man. I don't know. I guess maybe they were like, yeah, there's no point in doing it because <laughs> I mean, you're not, if, if, if we don't give him support, you're not gonna feel any any reason to do it. Or he'll turn against me. I don't know. I don't know what the. I don't know why. It's, it does seem a little weird. Just 
with how the story was sort of setting it up but it's like there's a, there seems to be any story reason why he wouldn't fight um, anyway let's go ahead and uh spoil the monastery bernie's in a room again what you doing in there bernie more isn't kind to you if you're a recluse by the time you realize what's going on you're already under attack and if you're off by yourself you can get killed with no one ever even finding out i thought you were just waiting by the door for me to show up sounds like you're learning i highly doubt that would happen it's like you're learning won't that be awful just terrible okay professor i get it i know i'll have to come out but i want to stay here for this this month fine all right i grew vegetable seeds this time so hopefully i'll get some actual vegetables give me some good ones Dry vegetable, peach currant, turnip, chickpeas, onion, and why Verona? Do, 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 do. All right, cool. Is there anything? Oh, there's actually nothing going on this month at all. Got paralogs, but hey, Ash. The area around Castle Gaspar, where I was living, is under the control of House Roe, who have submitted to the Empire. If I hadn't come to Garrick Mach, I might have ended up as your enemy at ALL. Oh, God. That thought makes me really happy to be here now. Me too, man. I don't think I would have been able to handle facing all of you in battle. Me neither, man. That would have sucked. I don't want to have to haul my cinnamon bun. Isn't that right, Mr. Fat Kitty? Man, you're such a pessimist, Mr. Fat Kitty. Seriously, you are the Garfield Kitty of this fucking school. Look at you. Look how big this cat is. <gasps> Can't you good? Oh. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Lord Rodrigue is revered by all as the Shield of Fargus. I was imagining a more stern-faced fellow, but he's actually quite friendly. Shocking. I heard that he recently spent the night drinking in the dining hall with soldiers from the church. Yeah, he got fucked up. I should know because I was there drinking with him. What does Felix have to say about this? Leaving the house in my uncle's hands? What is the old man thinking? Hmm, his uncle. Which, which was his uncle? I always knew my father was mad, but this time he's gone too far. I agree. I'm actually grateful to him. I agree. My uncle is a reliable man, but still, only a fool would abandon his own territory. Hmm. I'm sure we've probably seen the uncle at some point, but I, I don't know who it is off the top of my head. Ooh, oh, good. I found an onion. I found a vegetable. And some seeds. Oh, God. Hello, little girl. What do you need? I need your help. Uh, when I got home after eating, I realized the special thing on a... Ask me to look after it vanished. So what do I do? Search for an item that belonged to Anna. Maybe it was dropped in the dining hall. Uh, okay. Anna's heirloom. There's unrest everywhere. These I hope things go back to normal. Anna says nothing new. God dang it. Welcome. Say the same stupid shit every dumb month. Hmm. From the outset, House Regan and House Gloucester have been fighting over leadership of the Alliance. Then this war comes along. And their opinions are split about whether to ally with the Empire or not. Their existing enmity only worsened, leading them to full-on conflict with one another. However, the leader of the Alliance is a very shrewd man. It's difficult to predict what he'll do at this point. Hmm. Shmir, what do you think? So, House Regan accepted. I knew the leader of the Alliance wouldn't refuse. Still, we can't let our guard down. There's no telling when he'll turn on us. If we advance through the Alliance into the Empire, our chances for reconnaissance will be limited. I just hope it goes according to plan. Shmir counts to thinking two steps ahead here. Right, right. Oh. Wealth of Anna. Mysterious book Anna gave to a girl. Doesn't seem right to flip through it. But I will anyway. Mm, yay! Thanks. Yay! Okay. Woo! I think. Do you really think it's a good idea to trust Claude? If you let yourself get taken in by his silver tongue, you might wind up regretting it. Ah, oh, man, Claude's cool, I think. Unless he's turned evil in the past few years. The thing is, uh, five years ago, I was taken in by his tricks myself. We fucked like monkeys. I was given a long and grueling lecture by my unit leader that day. Ugh. The memory of it is still too painful. <laughs> did you? Did you sleep with him? You did too, Professor. No, I didn't. You, you just hear rumor. Shut up. <laughs> I finally got to eat a full meal for the first time in forever. And it's all thanks to Lord Rodrigue. Unfortunately, it was all vegetables. Ah, I've got gross. Such energy. Let me at that great bridge of Murden. I'll bust it down myself. Oh, but then how do we cross? 
<laughs> Silly Raphael. Oh, Raphael gonna smash some shit. Oh, Halloween's standing in line. I thought House Fraldarius had an invasion of their own to worry about. I'm impressed Lord Rodrigue was willing to provide us all these reinforcements and supplies. The Knight's morale is really boosted, seeing as they have had their first good meal in a while. Let's hope mm. we can keep this up and take down the Great Bridge of Murder. It's funny, I'm running around, I am actually finding more food to pick up. Like, I actually found a vegetable. I found an onion. A fucking onion. Oh my god. Precious resources that I can use to use to dine with my students. Yay. Speaking of which, I wonder if the Amiibo Gazebo maybe will start spitting more stuff out. <gasps> Holy shit, it did. And this is all thanks to Rodriguez. Man, that's the reason why I wasn't spitting out stuff before is because we were low on supplies. Even the Amiibo Gazebo couldn't do it. The, ooh, the Hezro blend. That's some, some dank stuff. Oh god, this unearthly vegetable Angelica is perfectly grown from the blood of fallen heroes. Mmm, yeah, that sounds appetizing. Concoction. Chess key. Oh, some mithril. Another chess key. A Caledonian Gar. And a Volnary. Cool. Way to go, Amiibo Gazebo. What up, Mercedes? It looks like we're all set with food supplies. Thanks to Lord Rodri. We have more soldiers to feed now, so we'll still need to ration. <laughs> no, fuck it. We're gonna eat all food right here, right now. But I think we have enough extra to make some tasty treats. I'll go scout the pantry. It's time for cookies! That'll be wonderful. Shouldn't be wasteful. That will be yeah, wonderful. We'll enjoy it together over some tea. <laughs> That's right. Let's not be responsible. No, I want to say the thing that will get me the most support points with Mercedes, even though we've already maxed out. You're wasting the cookies. Don't you dare waste the cookies, Mercedes. Oh. I can't talk to Rodriguez though. Even after all these decades, the academy hasn't changed a bit. I remember it well, even now. I used to sneak out of lectures with Lambert almost every day. Lambert? This is not the time for an old man's nostalgia. We have received approval from House Regan. We should set out as soon as you're ready. We'll set out when the month rolls around. F Lane. Being here brings back all manner of memories. The days I spent studying here with you and everyone else. Those days were so special to me. They were truly some of the warmest days of my life. I hold them dear in my heart. Aww. And now, to be forced to fight with those I was once so close to, my friends, it is most saddening. Oh, it's okay, Flane. We'll, uh, we'll invite them to tea instead and sort it all out. Really, Professor? Nah, we'll probably have to kill them. Oh, I know. We can kill them with the tea. There we go. That solves all the problems. Lord Gwendol was pretty tough. If only he'd been on our side, he would have been a great ally. No, he really wasn't, actually. Like, seriously, Annette one shot at him. But it was Lord Gwendol himself who made the decision to throw his lot in with the Empire alongside his liege. I will neither pity him nor mourn for him. It would be an insult to his honor. That's right. It'd be, it'd be an insult to, to mourn for his stupid old ass. To follow the path of justice as long as life endures. That is the duty of a knight of Farkas. Sure, man. All right, this month is bow time to get a silver bow plus. Cool. Dimitri's still hanging out in the cathedral. That's where he feels like he has to talk to his dead family or whatever. Speaking hey, Gilbert. House Fraldarius is a military house. They swore fealty to the royal family at the kingdom's founding. The current family head, Lord Rodrigue, was raised like a brother to the former king. He harbors a loyalty that goes beyond mere duty. Mm. Perhaps this is why he was willing to lend us his aid. I mean, you sort of see that in just how much he was saying, like, you know, he wants to fucking crush the Empire. It's starting to sound a lot like Dimitri. I think that's why, I think out of everybody, why it was, if anyone could reach Dimitri, right, and sympathize with him in a, a certain level, it was probably him. I have Supply a run. Uh, okay. I think I have these already. Oh, silverfish, suck my balls. Gilbert, I just sold one too. Oh, bitch, really? I have a request. Uh, despite, despite the danger, uh, sure the okay. Take down the bands on the trade route. Okay. Gilbert, just assign me more, more shit to do. Nag, nag, nag. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dimitri. How you doing, man? You feeling any better? Yeah? What we got for me today? If you stand in my way, I will strike you down. Are you even talking to me anymore? You, you're talking to the, 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 the pile of dirt over there. I, I don't know, man. What's that? No, shut up, Dad. My insult was cool, all right? I will not say that to him. That's stupid. You're stupid. Gah, fine. 
My dad told me to tell you you're a serious lame-o. Dude, what the fuck, Dimitri? What the fuck? Tell me you want to strap me down and skull fuck my dead lifeless remains, but a lame-o? That's going too far, Dimitri! <laughs> Well, Father, it seems like I owe you an apology. All right, who we got today? Mercedes again. Uh, you always hate exercising and avoiding training, but now I'm afraid I may be holding more back. Is there anything I can do to help support my allies? Do some special training to catch up. You can boost their morale with a delicious meal. You're doing fine. Boost their morale with a delicious meal. Yes. Booyah, baby. I get one month. No, nope, each month now. So it's like, ass, we're in the middle of fucking war. And you, now your, your problems have just magically disappeared. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, this seems like a good place to end things here for now. I'm really loving this game, though, guys. I, I know I've, I keep saying it. And I'm sure you guys are all sick of it. And probably just like, it's like, it's going to be a fucking meme by this point. But I just can't stop singing this game's praises because the storytelling and the writing is just so impressive. You know, I just can't stop being just blown away by just how much love was put into this. And I think it's really a shame, honestly, that like, the people who are so pissed that another Fire Emblem character showing up, you know, uh, just have likely just never played this game. You know, I think that's the, just the thing. They just didn't play this game. Because if they did, I think they would see why this series deserves to be in uh, Smash. Like, don't be wrong. I get it. All right. I absolutely understand. There's already a shit ton of Fire Emblem characters. And I, that's really what the main issue is, right? is that there are so many of them. They, what they really should have done is not include so many to begin with, right? Because the fact that they did has now just soured everyone's opinion of this game's inclusion, when really this game being included is really actually a pretty awesome thing. Because the world, at least of this game, with these characters and myself included, you know, it's I think something that deserves to be celebrated in a game like Smash Brothers. It's just a shame there's so many fucking Marth clones, basically, right? All with like similar move sets and shit. But hopefully, once uh, Byleth releases, which will actually be pretty soon, I think in just a couple of days, his gameplay will at least help to maybe turn people around. And also the, the fucking music, because the music in this game is pretty great. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not ready to become Piggy Penguin for this LP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.